Hello everybody. So today what we'll be doing is uh, we'll be performing a magic trick. So for this what we'll require is a sunflower oil. We have simply uh, put the sunflower oil in a glass of water. After that what we'll be doing is we'll be taking this glass lab, uh, this transparent thing that you use in bio like uh, for this uh, amazing blood and all. And uh, we are having a hammer over here. So now uh, let's see what happens. First I'll be breaking this. Uh, this glass lamp so as you can see the glass is crushed so now I'll be simply pouring this crushed glass into this water So as you can see I have just poured uh, the crushed glass into this uh, oil. So now what I'll be doing is I'll be uh, performing a magic trick you will see. I'll simply take out this slab and you'll be surprised to see that it's still uncrushed. So let's see what happens. So as you can see this is the glass slab. I just crushed it uh, using a hammer but now it's uncrushed. Now the same thing you can observe here, uh, like you must have seen this kind of taps in some museums or like amusement parks, science parks. So like do you wonder how is it hanging magically? Like it was exactly the same thing, like I just uh, took out a glass that was crushed and uh, the glass I took out was uncrushed. So how it happens and like you must be matured enough to understand that the science, there is science behind every magic. So what is the science, what is the concept? So let's see a little in detail. So as I was saying, we'll uh, like I have placed this ray box, a uh, single slit I have used, so a beam of light is coming out of it. So now in the earlier videos, you must have seen refraction, right? When we put it in any other other angle, it bends. When we put it in a straight angle, angle I is equal to angle R, both are zero, so it doesn't bend. In this particular situation, it bends. So this was a very similar phenomenon of refraction. Now I'll relate this to what uh, we were seeing earlier in the magic tricks. So what actually is happening? So like if I ask you a question, why there is a change of, uh, why, why there is change in direction of light? So as we, as you have seen, the speed of light is like you must have learned in uh, like earlier classes, speed of light is 3 into 10 raised to power 8 meters per second. But like is it same in all mediums why exactly the change in direction is taking place like uh, you must have seen angle i angle r and all those uh, the principles of refraction but the basic reason of refraction the reason refraction is happening because the speed of light is not same in all the mediums like the speed of light is different in glass it's different in air so this is the speed of light that we take in air this is respective to air because air is like everywhere and we can relate it with every other thing so this is the speed of light in air. Now what we do is we try to relate this uh, with the uh, the speed of light in other mediums. But now it is very difficult. Like it is like 10 raised to power 8 sort of thing. So it is very difficult to remember all these speed of light in different mediums, right? So to make it a bit easier, what we use we use the term of refractive index. So this is the term that uh, generally the people in academics use. So what that refractive index is. It is basically refractive index is equal to speed of light in that medium divided by speed of light in air. So this is the term that we use. This is called refractive index. So now depending on this, just tell me that initially as there was air like everywhere it's air. So the light was not bending, right? So in this particular case, the light bent because there, there is change in medium. So now coming on to this uh, experiment like that we just did, what actually was happening? We were having a glass of oil. So now what happens is the refractive index of sunflower oil is equal to the refractive index of glass. So as you can say, the speed of light in sunflower oil is exactly equal to the speed of glass, uh, light in glass. So here what we are using, we are using this trick, we are using this tactics and what I was doing is, I had two glasses, one, I had two glasses, uh, two glass labs and there was sunflower oil in this and a glass lab was already hidden in it. 
now since the refractive index of this medium and this glass layer is exactly the same so the light that was coming through it was changing its direction but you were not able to differentiate the medium here you are able to uh, see the glass layer because there is change in medium there is change in like as you can say there is change in refractive index but the same was not happening here there was a change in medium from air to glass or you can say oil but both were exactly identical you were not able to differentiate now what i uh, what i did is i crushed this one this uh, another this glass lab and i just placed it in this so there was some uh, tits and bases of uh, this glass lab over here and you were still not able to differentiate so you were just able to see a glass filled with oil so now what i did is i used my hand and just poured out this particular glass lab that was already existing so this is the basic reason why uh, like you were not able to see the glass lab so the another thing that i showed you in the second video that was uh, this magical tap so in that also what was happening is that was a tap that was this tap was basically attached to the ground with the help of a glass funnel uh, this thing so now what was this the water was going from here and it was spilling like this so now the thing is the water is making some sort of turbulence sort of thing in this so now the refractive index of this medium and the refractive in index of this glass funnel this glass tube was exactly the same so that's why when you were able to see this you were not able to distinguish between the materials so this was the reason and uh, this is what we call the properties of refractive index so uh, if the material has same refractive index you will not be able to differentiate between them